right, so this is the third chapter um, of our series, Secrets Out, Tips and Trips from My Librarians, sponsored by Colorado Mountain College and Garfield County Public Libraries. As librarians, we want you to know that we're still working in here for you, but in slightly different ways than we were just a few weeks ago. So first, uh, let's introduce yourselves, uh, ourselves. I'm uh, Lauren, I'm the branch manager of the Glenwood Springs Library, and I'll be sharing how to find new books, uh, new books to read. Hi everyone, I'm Amy Shipley. I am the assistant executive director of Garfield County Libraries, and I'm going to show you some tips about how to manage all those titles you learn about after hearing Lauren's tips. So let's get started. Uh, one thing that I personally dread is finding a new author to read because I know what I like and that most of what's out there isn't what I like. And so it, it feels like a big deal. Um, but here are, but there are some great resources out there that make it a lot easier um, than I fear. So here are the resources I use to find my new favorite authors and titles. So I'm going to start with uh, at our website, gcplg.org, with a title that I already like. So that's today's program. <laughs> All right, so here we are on the library site. Just really quickly, just a reminder, up here at the top, you'll see uh, my uh, get a card. So if you don't already have a card, no worries. Just click on get a card. Uh, you can sign up for one super easily. Just fill this out. Oop. Uh, just fill out the registration page, bam, we give you a number as soon as you click register. And if you do have a card, um, let's get you back here. Then if you go down to the bottom, click contact us and we will help you get your number. Anyways, back to this. Okay, so let's search for a title that I know that I like. It's called Stepsister. That's this one here. I really enjoyed this one. Looks like we do have an audiobook and ebook versions if you want to check it out yourself. Um, and what I'm going to do is click on the title because it gives me all sorts of more information. Uh, let's start off with the more like this section. So these are. Uh, this is nice because uh, you stay in the catalog, you see something that looks interesting. These are uh, books that are probably going to appeal to you. May not, but they're a good place to start. Uh, Ella, Enchant Ella Enchanted. Great. Here it is. Tells me a little bit about it. Tells me where it's available. Bam. I can check it out via Overdrive um, for the e-audiobook. I can place the hold for the e-book. Or uh, in the future, I could place the hold for the regular copy. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm going to scroll um, a little bit further down to similar titles from Novelist. So Novelist, uh, we're, we're going to actually um, discuss that in a little bit. But right now, I'm just going to show you this part. Um, this is cool because it tells why you might be interested in it specifically. Um, Test of the Road, um, it talks a little bit about the specific things that are appealing about that book and I can decide whether or not I want to read it or not. And if you click on the title, it takes to the record and then bam, you're checking it out, bam, you're placing the hold, which is really awesome. So more about Novelist, where all that information came from. So this is this great database that is built to do one thing only, help you find your next book. If you click here at the top of our webpage, gcpld.org, click on research, and then scroll down. You definitely will need your library card to access this. Um, but like I said, a couple options for you to make sure you have that. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so if you're uh, just looking for um, books for kids, you can try Novelist K through 8. We're just going to choose Novelist because I um, read books of all, for folks of all ages. about it. It's really thinking this through. 
does it want me to access it? Well, while it's thinking about it, I'll, I'll tell you why I love this uh, resource so much. Um, because um, it's made just for helping you find your next book. Um, it really goes into details about like what makes a good book good and really comes up with attributes um, that can really help you narrow things down really specifically. It's awesome for browsing. If you like a particular author, they have these read-alikes that really get into, okay, so you, if you like this part about uh, James Patterson, well, then you might like this part of uh, the books by um, Clive Cussler, for instance. Uh, it also lets you um, put in specifically, okay, this is what I like about a book. I, so I personally love plot and place. There we go. I just had to really think really hard about that. Um, so, and it thinks of these as uh, appeals, is sort of what it calls it. Um, but you can actually browse books by those appeals and it will give you some ideas of what you might wanna uh, look for. So first we're looking at age here, looking for an adult book. I, to me, it's really important that it's a fast book you know, fast paced. Um, but um, in terms of characters, like I love a strong female character. So let me find some titles that sort of fit that. And these are titles that are recommended. Let's see, I haven't seen this one before. I have a little preview here. And then I can get into more detail as I click in here. And you can see it provides so much information. So you can really see from professionals who review books for a living, what, uh, what they thought of the book, what is it that's appealing about it. You can see it's plot driven, it was great world building, likable strong female characters, these are the themes. And then if you like this book, here are some read-alikes on the right for books that are actually pretty similar. Um, let's see, I am going to do, so let's go back to the beginning here. Let's say you like books by James Patterson. If it decides, there we go. Author, James Patterson. Let's see what it's gonna tell me here. It's telling me a little bit about him and his career, um, sort of the genres he's a part of. Here are all his books. And then this is really nice. On the right here, you'll see the read-alikes. These are authors um, who are similar. And I clicked on view all because I love this right here. Um, it actually describes why uh, you might like uh, this author and you can decide like what are the most important aspects to me and then I could say well you know James Siegel actually I don't you know the, the things that are make them similar is not what I want but the things that make uh, James Patterson and Bill O'Reilly similar I like that so I'm gonna go with it um, so it is a, a just a, a wonderful resource that librarians use all the time when helping someone find a new book. I love using it when I'm just sort of stuck and I need a new author, a new series, anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to quickly talk about um, another way to find upcoming books that you might like. Um, basically, uh, find out some uh, publishers you like and get their emails. So let's say I'm going to do a Google search for image comics because I love their comics. I'm just going to click on here and let's see if it just does this for me. As I start scrolling down, I'm looking for their newsletter and there we go. 
So the thing about getting these newsletters, librarians do this all the time so that they know what are some upcoming books that they might want to order. And you can totally do it too. So you can put in your email address, um, you know, what types of comics you like, and it will send you um, information on what's coming up, which is like, great. I'm just going to go ahead and put myself on the, the, the list for that. I know I'm going to want to get that one. Um, I'm going to re recommend um, Penguin Random House. I spelled Penguin wrong, but it's going to know uh, what to do instead. Uh, they have uh, great uh, newsletters, uh, usually here at the bottom if you want to sign up. So here, stay in touch. And I'm going to recommend one last one, book page. This is, we actually get the physical copy of this at each branch. So once we're, the physical locations are open again, you'll need to take a, a look for that. Uh, but all that information is here on the web page, and you can subscribe uh, to uh, get that information sent to your mailbox. What I love about BookPage is it uh, puts together themes, and then and it uses books of, for all ages, and that are not just new but older ones as well so it gives like if it decides to tackle mental health it'll give you some great older ones and some great new ones some for kids some for adults it's just a great service and i'm just going to end my little section here taking you to cmc quigley so this is uh the library for the spring valley campus college we are partnering with this, this program. I'll show you something over here to the right. Farther down, need a new book. Fill out this form to get personalized book suggestions. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome service that the librarians at CMC quickly are offering to you. Um, it is open to anyone who wants to get a few book recommendations. All you do is fill this out. Uh, talk. They just need some information, like what some of the things you're looking for. Um, uh, what's really helpful is the last book you read and enjoyed, and you know how. What are some TVs and uh, TV shows and, and movies that you enjoy? So fill that out, and within 48 hours, you'll get an email with uh, a couple of recommendations. It's truly a, an awesome service that I'm really glad that CMC uh, the librarians are offering. Okay, and with that, I'm going to throw it over to Amy. Great. Thank you, Lauren. Now I am going to be so overwhelmed with all the books that I want to read. <laughs> so now that you have all those tips for how to find new books to read, your whole list is full and you've checked out the maximum number of ebooks that you can check out. Now what are you going to do? There's no way you can read all of those books in three weeks, or no way I could read all of those books in three weeks before they return to the library. So one of my favorite tips is to check out a bunch of eBooks and then I transfer them to my Kindle. I have a Kindle Paperwhite that I read my eBooks on. And once I've transferred all of those eBooks to my Kindle, I put the Kindle in airplane mode and I don't take it out of airplane mode until I'm done reading all of those books or all the ones that I feel like I'm actually gonna read. Sometimes I check out more books than I actually read. I don't know if anyone else does that. Um, so what that does is it keeps that ebook on your device and the book will stay checked out to you until you either return it or it lives the life of its checkout, which is for me, it's 21 days. I think that's the default setting. And then it goes back to the library and it becomes available for checkout to the next patron. But as long as you leave your device in airplane mode, it won't go away on that device. So it will just stay there. Um, the, the next time it connects to the internet and syncs with, with Amazon or whatever, what other, whatever other service you use, then it will get removed from your device. So, I use that trick all the time to check out books and kind of keep them longer than I'm than my checkout period. 
Um, so that's a great tip to keep in mind. It won't work on your phone because if you had to keep your phone in airplane mode all the time, you wouldn't be able to use it as a phone. So as soon as you connect your phone back to data, it, it knows it and it will return those from your account at the end of that checkout period. So just keep that in mind. So what do you do if more holds come in, they, they could become available for you while your device is in airplane mode and it's the hold you've been waiting forever for. Um, at this point, you have to decide whether you're actually going to read the books that you have checked out to you because as soon as you check out that title and put your airplane to turn off the airplane mode, um, the books that you currently have checked out or on your device that are no longer checked out, they will get taken off your device. There are a couple options though. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, great. So I'm going to show you this from my library's OverDrive collection because it looks the most similar to the app that you're going to use on your phone or on your device. So typically I use the Libby app. Um, some people also have the OverDrive app and they all look very similar. They're just different tools to access the same stuff. So when you log in on your app, you're going to go to your holds tab and you'll see a hold when it comes available you'll see a deliver later option. Right now I have this suspend hold option, which is also another great option. So I'm gonna click this suspend hold. You can see I'm number 24 on six copies and I'm worried that this is gonna come available while I have my device in airplane mode. So I'm gonna suspend this hold. And I have several options here. I can suspend for 7, 14, 21, 28, 60, 90, or 180 days. So I'm just going to suspend that for seven days. And what that does is it keeps my place in line. And then when it comes available for me after, after April 15th, then it will get delivered to me. Once that hold gets delivered to me, if I'm still not ready for it, there will be an option here that says deliver later. And then you can choose again, 7, 14, et cetera, days later that you want it to be um, delivered to you. So those are both two tricks for managing your holds so that you get them when you're ready for them. Um, another trick to do is you could renew items. As long as they're still checked out to you, you can renew them as long as no one else is on the waiting list. So when you go to your loans in your app, you'll see that, you know, this one expires in 21 days. I just checked that one out today. And this one expires in six days. When it's within three days, there will be an option here to renew. And what that does is it places a hold on that item and then it delivers it to you again. So it's not a renewal the same way as you renew uh, like a real book. Um, but it, it essentially renews that title for you as long as no one else wants it. Um, so those are our tips and tricks for today. Stop sharing. Thank you for joining us for our Secrets Out librarian, Librarian's Tips and Tricks. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you.